and I also wanted to continue what I was talking about yesterday <laughs> and yesterday was in regards to of course the chakras I want to inform those who don't know what that is you guys may know may not know I and let me tell you why I like the chakras I've been following this path for the last four years and I've been ha I've had some ups and downs in regards to this path this these endeavors and one of the things I was not doing is following my own teachings following my own guidance and now is a purpose or a choice I have that I'm gonna make and that's right now it smells like weed <sighs> and let me start the root chakra or the chakras let me start the base guidelines of what they are their characteristics and why it's gonna benefit you you can take these if you want to or if you do not want to it's all up to you so on your own choice it's your own choice of course first we're gonna talk about the root and the root of course is where i am right now which is the environment the root chakra first characteristics is red why red because if you guys know art or if you guys know anything about light the first wavelength is red the first primary color is red why is that a coincidence I believe not and when we continue along this path we start understanding certain things start aligning certain things start being coincidental I don't know why it could just be the universe talking to us understanding what we need to do in our life this could be mine I know that this is mine <sighs> let me continue the first level of the root chakra or the first level of the chakras is the root chakras and what does it symbolize what is the characteristics first characteristics is survival those who may know a little bit know that is the first thing you need to accomplish your survival aspect in civilization <laughs> and okay i might be wrong in this one the first element of it i believe is is fire no it's earth so you gotta grant yourself in order to achieve the first moment is go into nature baby take your shoes off connect to the earth to gaia that's your motherly bond you have to the world once you continue and you're able to accomplish that you go to your second no not second but second characteristics of the root and that is clothing i'm lying it's food no i'm lying it's water first is water why because you need water to survive i believe you can only last three days without water until your body starts stay with me deteriorating and your body shuts down you can last without water i believe i could be wrong i ain't no expert three weeks three weeks and then your body starts going into the state which it can no longer sustain itself and then you start going into shock and certain things start going into shock and in order to in order for you to sustain it you just need to survive that's the first ask that's the first aspect 
and when I say aspect, that's what I mean. We need food, we need clothing, we need shelter. You need to procreate, as I said. Though, that's a little bit more advanced. Let me, let me tell you why. Once you have clothing, any type of clothing, once you have, this is where it kind of gets tricky. Why? Because it's changed in our life because if you go back to the greenbacks the money i don't know exactly what year it is it started it was backed up by the gold standard and now it's not the federal reserve changed that and now it's not backed up by the gold standard same thing goes with the root chakra before it was just survival needs okay it's survival needs you need water food shelter all that in order to survive in our society though now you can replace all that with just one thing and that's money why because money gives you flow food clothing shelter everything you need in order to survive in this world and I think some things intertwine with it because, but I'm getting too deep. I'm getting into this for my little hypothesis, yada yada. But what I, this is what it is. Root chakra, food, water, shelter, basic survival needs. You need to ground yourself, go into nature. Bada beam, bada boom. Where are we at? We in nature, baby. Once we continue to harmonize, activate, unblock, and harmonize and get in the right frequency unblock it maybe i don't know if i said that once you unblock it and once you achieve i think it's equilibrium i'm not sure it's equilibrium because you need certain things to it and of course once you reach that you can go to the next step you have your food money clothing shelter be able to go to your next phase of life which you're able to indulge you can have a pleasantful life and when i mean a pleasantful life that's just the aspect just have it you don't have what you want just just survival that's the first aspect you survive boom you have whatever you need to live for that day once you are able to balance it balance the root chakra and there's different steps it's really difficult because why they simplify it and it's a lot it's more complex than what you might think uh, because yeah okay i'm gonna show you a diagram maybe uh, it's too complicated once you have that once you have your basic needs you can go to your sacral chakra. Sacral chakra is orange. Why is it orange? Look at the light spectrum. It goes along that path. Once you go along that path, you can have a pleasant for life, as I said, and you can indulge. It's pleasurable. You're not just worried about Oh, when am I gonna pay this? When am I gonna pay that? Boom, you have all your essentials, you have all your death, everything that you need to pay off is paid off. Boom, you have extra money for you. Now you can either do two things, which I suggest. One book you should read is The Richest Man in Babylon. That book is really great. It talks about how your money should make money for you. Why? Because we live in a day to day basis, which is we live check to check. Why is that? Because. Uh, it gets more complicated than that. Why? Because the school system doesn't teach us how to save. The school system doesn't teach us how to build credit, how to establish assets, how to even invest. And that's a very important thing here. That's why the 1% is the 1%. I think it's changed though. I believe last time that was in 2002, 2001. Now I believe it's a 7%, which is good because that means it's gone up. But let me stop babbling on and continue with the chakras. Seven is a sacral, of course, like I said, you indulge. Now, now you're 
able to enjoy no not enjoy it's pleasurable you can slow down you you don't have to scarf down your meal you can slow down smell it taste it it's like wine wine connoisseurs they they do that like, why because they don't really need it if you want to get drunk you can just get a freaking beer or get drunk wine connoisseurs they take the time the aroma the taste the color the aesthetics of the wine once you have that once you are able to harmonize and balance your root chakra you have all your essentials which you need to survive next your sacral chakra is balanced because you, you're you're okay you're like yeah you know i'm okay i'm not worried i'm not stressed out about this and that and that and this now you can move on to your solar plexus and the funny thing about the solar plexus is that many people skip for some reason which i understand why because this is when i started getting drugs and narcotics and alcohol into the picture because when it comes to the root chakra and the solar and the sacral chakra there isn't really much that can activate it because you can activate all the chakras both naturally and unnatural and when i be mean by unnatural uh, you guys might already know what i'm talking about you can take substances sacral chakra i mean yeah solar plex <gasps> solar plexus chakra talks about your happiness that's your enjoyment that's your life that's if you're happy or not and when you drink alcohol well, okay let me not fucking get into that that's another video blah 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 solar plexus talks about dude it gets really complicated and complex the solar plexus is about your happiness is the sun the energy why because the sun is very is an essential oh and i forgot sacral there we go yeah the root chakra is the ground the element is earth second element for the sacral chakra is water you can take a bath and that harmonizes for the moment being solar plexus is fire the main source you guys guessed it is the sun <laughs> and that's about your happiness your drive that's that's your not your willpower i'm gonna get that to the next though so your your energy that your happiness your enthusiasm what you can do to move forward and keep going because one of the biggest things is you can be at work and the last couple of hours of your shift at work at school or wherever you need to do in order to do what you want to do you once you are able to activate your solar plexus then those last two hours you're able to self motivate yourself you're self motivated you have enthusiasm to keep going because you're so you're happy and once you're happy you can continue doing what you the activity you're doing because at that point it's selfish the sacral the root sacral and solar plexus is a selfish our selfish chakra because they're only focusing on you so focusing on only your survival your pleasure and your ego those are the first three it's only you 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 why because that's what you need to survive in this world first thing to focus on yourself trippy red said this focus on yourself exclamation 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 and this true warren buffett invest in yourself once you have those three and people skip though people skip which you can though eventually you're gonna go back down because what must what comes up must come down those three root survival sacral sacral is a pleasure solar plexus is your happiness your enjoyment 
and then fourth chakra fourth chakra is the heart chakra and you guys will might know what that is the heart chakra is love and love is a very strong thing in this world jaco said it in kod and the strongest drug of them are love and it's a very dangerous thing though not as dangerous as pride kendrick lamar said love is gonna be the death of you but pride is gonna be the death of us all and once you get to the stage of, of the love chakra you start focusing you, you stop focusing on just you, you start focusing on other people because we are all one we're all of the same consciousness and we're sharing this experience because that's what it's meant to be this is your path this is what you need to do in life because you know what you do, just maybe the reason you're not choosing your path is because you're scared, because judgment, embarrassment. And that's the first sign where you need a stretch. There's a comfort zone and there's a stretch. You need to stretch in order to grow. Once you go to your heart, your love chakra, you start love, of course, you open your heart up. And it's bad to open your heart up if you don't have if you're not grounded and when i say grounded is of course you don't have money that's the biggest thing because there's a difference if a broke ass person if a homeless person talks about oh starts talking about his his mumbo jumbo you wouldn't really listen to a homeless person why because yeah they love all human beings Though they don't have anything, they don't have respect. They don't have assets or money or currency to back them up because that's what people really care about here because they don't, they can't, they really focus on those three levels, which is money, pleasure, and ego and happiness. And once you go to love, love is a hard thing. Why? Because you stop focusing on yourself. You start focusing on other people. And that's the same thing. You need to focus on yourself first before you can help anybody else. But you can skip. I'm not lying. It's just... You can... You can go into that world. See how it is. Go back down. Because you can move up and down the chakras as you please. Once your heart chakra is balanced. And the best way to eat heart chakra is to eat green things. It's really simple. To open and balance your root chakra eat something red if you want to balance open your sacred chakra eat something orange if your solar plexus eat something yellow if your heart chakra eat your greens and veggies once love is into the picture you you harness that and it's this is god there's a okay i'm gonna talk about religion a little bit because it intertwines in what i believe and what i want to say if people might not believe i understand and that's why we have free will and once we open our heart we can self-express and self-expression is the art gene the what most artists stay in though it's bad if you just start opening it no but there's different levels you can open it because you need to step in the world in order to understand what you need to do in your guidelines your throat is about expression and many artists they focus on that why because it's it's fun you able to express yourself without judgment you don't really care it's like yeah i'm gonna do this because that's what i want it's my passion and yeah it's good fuck yeah sure you know do whatever the f you want doesn't say it's right doesn't say it's wrong why because no one's right no one's wrong well everyone's right how to win friends and influence people. No one thinks are wrong. No one wants to be wrong. And that's one of the hardest part because if you wanna find fame and money, it's gonna be really hard to find that. Why? Because 
Pablo Picasso didn't become famous till after his death. And that happens to many artists. Van Gogh, same thing. They didn't become famous till after their death. And that's because once you become more aware, start raising your higher conscious levels to the masses, to normal people, you're not gonna make sense to them. You're not gonna, you're gonna say I'm crazy because that's, because they're focused on certain things. They're focused on the three levels. It's hard to open your heart chakra because you either got to go through emotional, traumatic, experiences not at the same time emotional or traumatic experience good or bad and once you are able to move through along that path you self-express you have that voice that's what it is because honestly we don't yeah we do need to talk but not really there's certain things between talking and certain things let's recap root chakra survival instincts what you need what you need to survive in this world two your sacral chakra, which is your pleasure. Then you got your shoulder plexus, which is your happiness, your ego. Then you have your heart chakra, which of course, easy love, throat chakra, love and expression. And this is where I was talking that Maslow's hierarchy your needs because And it's funny because the chakras, if you understand them, the kundalini is in the root chakra and you go up and it goes back down. It's a wave. It's because you can't stay up and you can't, you can stay up, though it's dangerous. You got to stay down because then you, because once you go into the throat chakra, that's when a visionary start talking about. And the visionaries are the people who always think, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And, and they just think. The root chakra is the action. I'm gonna do this, I'm doing this. That's an action. And and if you don't have your root chakra balanced or even aware of it, that's the first thing you need to be aware of it because without money in this world, you really can't do anything. And that's the biggest truth about it. I don't think anybody can judge me on that because you need money in order to survive in this world. You wanna go to school, you need money. Yeah, FAFSA, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, pff, what is that? Money. The government gives you money. In order to get what you want, a house, home, have a family, have the things you want. Either you have credit or you have money or you have gold. And I'm going to get deeper into this, though. Then you go into your third eye, which is, is what everybody wants to go. It's like, yeah, oh, man, my third eye, blah, blah, blah. No. Uh, as I say, don't don't open it till. And when I say don't op don't open it till you have your root chakra balanced or even have something because once you step into that world, you're getting into some really nasty business. Not nasty, but unexplainable because that's when new thoughts come about. That's when duality comes into the picture because when it comes into the third eye as the law of attraction the universe doesn't really know does not know no which is for them good and bad isn't really understandable to them it's they just see it as a way of a means a means to an end and anything goes in the, in the third eye that's where your intuition comes. Like you have this feeling, you look at someone, I don't like this person. Or you look at someone or, oh, you know what? I really like this person. And that's your intuitive, intuitive thought. Sometimes it can be wrong. Why? Because the first thing you need to learn about the root chakra is you need, you need to be guided by faith, not by fear. Because if you're guided by fear, that's usually when lies and deception comes into the picture. When it comes to fate, lies and deceptions are still gonna come into the picture and you're gonna have faith. You're gonna have that sense of security that everything's gonna be all right. I know right now that I'm going through certain situations. I know I have a purpose. I know in the end, 
I'm gonna come out on top and I'm going to be able to do what I believe in. Not I believe in, the what I'm meant to do. And that's what I wasn't really understanding because I, I was, as I was going back, the root chakra is the truth. That's the truth about it. You need money. That's, that's a fucking fact. Like, fuck, if you want, if you want a good career, it's not gonna come easy. Oh yeah, I want to be a lawyer. I want to be an architect uh, to make good money. Guess what? That also requ requires a lot of money in order to become that. It's not gonna. Oh, you and exactly. If you you go to school and you go into debt, a lot of individuals go to school and they be and they go into debt. And fifty five percent of people who get their degrees don't use it for the what they got it for, which is funny. No, the reason I'm going back is because I was in the workforce for a workforce shit. Uh, I was in the <laughs> I was in the workforce for a while. I was in the workforce for a while, and uh, I noticed like I don't know if you uh, those who were in English I uh, know the the book I'm talking about and is. 1984 and 1984 talks about the society how we're guided by certain things and we're just robots basically working with the government and this and that and that's what uh we can't really focus on our dreams why because once we go into the real world, we gotta focus on, oh, we gotta get this, we gotta get that, we gotta get a home, we gotta get a car, which is true, you have to. That's no doubt about it. Even if you didn't want to, you have to. And yeah, you need to focus on that. Focus on all that. Though it's different for each person, that's a different thing. Let me backtrack again, because fuck, I go into different tangents because there's so much information here. And if you wanna, have the four aspects of life health wealth love and happiness this is your guideline you can follow because wealth root chakra boom you get money you you start focusing on wealth though it's the, it's like this this was this is what i was forgetting you have the four pillars of a wonderful life the four pillars health wealth love and happiness you can't have one without the other and if you neglect one as a structure in a home, it's gonna end up falling because you need health because you need to be healthy. You would enjoy life because without health, if you're sick, you can't work in order to make money. Though if you can't make money, you can't be healthy or you can't really be happy. You can't really love anybody. Why? Because you're focusing on money. Same thing goes, if you have too much money and you're always working, you don't have time to focus on happiness. You don't have, which in happiness is the things you wanna do in life, things that make you happy. Love is of course, the people you love. You can't, that's the biggest thing. The biggest problem in, in the US is cardiovascular problem, which is heart, the heart disease. What's the reason? Because of, because of stress because we're over indulging in the root chakra which is money 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 i need this i need money to to pay my house i need money to pay my mortgage i need money to pay my car loan i need money to pay school i need money to pay my school loans i need money for my phone i need money for health care i need to pay insurance i need to pay all the materialistic items we need in order to continue living in this society. Though without those four, if one is neglected, everything falls down. If you're not healthy, you can't really enjoy your money because you're sick. If you don't have money and you wanna love, you wanna share the love, you can't really, why? Because if you don't have money and you wanna get in a relationship, you can't take you out in the picnics all the time. You can't fucking make your sandwiches at home, at your parents' home, or fucking at your $800 apartment. You have to be able to 
have enough money to have the finances essential to take her out and where you want to go wherever you want to go though when you have money the proper amount because too much is bad too there's enough money or there's enough of everything to go around the world there's just not enough to feed every man's greed and once you start noticing man i need to focus on my root because i've been healthy i've been slacking off or i've been happy too much or i've been with my my loved one too much you start being aware of what you need that's the first thing you need to do awareness that's why I don't just focus on one thing don't just focus on the root i was just focusing on the root and that was my mistake that's why i was always stressed out like, like dude i gotta do this i gotta do that i can't express myself and let me go back again first is the root survival needs money second is pleasure be able to slow down and enjoy life that's the biggest thing second or third is the solar plexus solar plexus is about happiness that's why we need the sun the sun gives you vitamin d gives your body the energy to to continue with the vitamin d and vitamin d gives you happiness that is why californians if they go to a place where they don't they're isolated from the sun they get depressed why because the sun you need the sun that's why get out of here man get out of here in nature we're all stocked up in our houses stuck up in our phones and we understand that most of the things that happen is it's just right outside our door because why because we're technology we're focusing on other people when we everyone has their own path and oh dude that guy has a bmw oh man that that guy is ripped well yeah that's because that's their path that could be your path too as well and first you need to focus on what you need to focus on me i know that i need to focus well it's this is what i want i want to focus on health biggest one i want to be healthy i want to be able to run marathons of course have a great body and have enough financial stability to finance whatever i need my dreams life and i want why because financing what i need is love and happiness because love you need love for social animals. You don't want to be the character from Castaway. Wilson! Wilson! <laughs> and we need that in our lives. And in happiness, of course, dude, we need, of course, you guys, we need to be happy. Because the first killer in the United States is stress. Stress creates psychological problems, creates cardiovascular problems, and creates emotional problems. Immune system. That's why you get sick a lot because you're stressed out. When you're stressed out, when you have back problems, that's the main reason. When your feet hurt, when your back hurts, oh man, my head hurts. Why? Because look at what you look what. Take a moment and step back from everything. Understand that everything's gonna be okay. That you're gonna have faith. I understand right now you're dealing with financial issues, or right now there's a family member that's sick, or I hurt my leg, or or I got in a car accident, or um, or my girl left me. That's fine. Understand that the story of jo of Job, Hob. He talks about how God tested Job or Hob, Hob's faith, and. I don't kind of don't like it because the devil made a bet with God saying, oh, he's going to lose his faith. Moral of the story, Job kept his faith along all the horrific events the devil caused him. Losing his wife, losing his livestock, losing his kids. And since he was able to remain with faith, God multiplied his blessings four times fold either four times fold or two times fold. and that's what i want you guys to understand first thing is just have faith everything's gonna be okay in life why because that's how it is righteousness always prevails i don't know why that's just it righteousness and that's just the first thing you gotta focus is faith and righteousness and let me go through the last chakra which is your crown chakra. That's your purpose in life. That's what you gotta do. Once you understand that, you have a set focus. While everybody is focused on what other people are doing, you understand that 
you have a main purpose in this life and that you know what you need to do and whatever that might be you can continue because the devil negativity is gonna throw rocks is gonna throw sticks is gonna throw obstacles along your way along your path and you gotta understand it's okay why because god doesn't god or the universe doesn't give you anything you can't take because you can't be sedentary once you work out boom okay here's an example you work out if you remain on the same workout routine for a month your body's gonna get used to it and then you're gonna continue and it's not gonna affect your body as how it was affecting when you first started you need to change this change it up mix the routine up mix it up because you're smart your, your body's a smart mechanism and it's able to understand what it's doing your body has autosomatic and somatic responses in the body autosomatic means that it does it without thinking your heart beats without you thinking you think without thinking why do you think close your eyes you're just thinking just like that right away and why we don't know close your eyes you can see your mom's face close your eyes you can see the person you love you can close your eyes and you can even hear the, your favorite music in your head and how is that that's you get deeper than that it's the fourth dimension and and before, let me just slow down because I'm, I'm getting too ahead of myself. Let me just stay with what I was. <laughs> I went completely off tangent in the video I was trying to do. First, and let's talk about the chakras. First level, root, survival aspect. Second, sacral chakra. Third, solar plexus. Fifth, or fourth, heart. Fifth, throat. Sixth, third eye seventh crown chakra and there's more there's actually, there's there's actually more chakras there's 13 i believe there's 13 chakras there's there's like there's two more under your root chakra and i believe four more on top i could be wrong this is it gets hella it gets really complicated so that's what i'm saying again let me go back to basics Root chakra survival needs food, water, shelter, essential needs in order for you to survive. Solar, sacred chakra, pleasure. Now you can enjoy. You can slow down, eat a chocolate, sip that wine, be a wine connoisseur. That's one. Second is, no, third is your solar plexus. Your solar plexus is where your ego lies, where your happiness lies, where your I can do this, I will accomplish this goal, and nothing's gonna stop me. And I understand there's gonna be obstacles and tribulations that I'm going to pass. I'm gonna pass that, your positive mindset. That's the biggest things that will make you successful, and that's your positive mindset, your self-motivation, your enthusiasm. If you're trying to look for a job, those three things that you need, your employer is gonna look, wow, this guy is self-motivated. This guy is enthusiastic. His enthusiastic is so spreadful. I don't even know that's a word. So, so contagious. That's the word I was looking for. His enthusiasm is so contagious that I'm just trying to be happy too. And then your self-motivation, I said that. Why? Because you don't need someone to micromanage you. You don't need someone to be like, hey, Jeff, how come you're not doing your work? Blah, 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 blah. And just be happy one of the stories i read from how to win how to win friends and influence people there's a chinese proverb that says the <laughs> the chinese man cannot open his door if he's not smiling which means if if you start your day fucking sad angry change that shit up switch it up fuck it here put some music you like who who fucking put beyonce shit the one i really like is asap rocky Praise the Lord. And that's from his testing album. You just get in that shit and just, uh, uh, get money. Eh, eh. And then your heart, your love, your love chakra. Dude, you got to share the love. You got to share the wealth. You got to share everything. It's not just about you. We're all living in this world together. Once we're able to understand that we are one, we're all conscious. We're living from the same conscious. We're a real God. We understand that. We don't need to fight 
everything we have is already here for us. We're going to learn through certain tribulations, certain trials, because we need to appreciate what we have. We need to appreciate the life, the vessel that was given to us. Once you understand that, that we're all one, there's no reason for fight, there's no reason for anger, there's no reason for, for that neg those negative emotions, well, I'm wrong. There is a feeling. Why? Because there is this place into those negative feelings because, and I hate to say this, during World War II, during World War II, many advances were made in technology. Why? Because of World War II. The nuclear bomb, the jet airplane, all that was created during war. Why? Because it pushed us forward. Because we had to survive. Because Charles Darwinism, Darwinism, Charles Darwin, Darwin said, it's not about, uh, it's not the strongest survives, whoever is able to adapt to his environment. It's not the strongest wins. It's he, the organism that is able to adapt to its environment is going to succeed and reproduce. Heart chakra. We love one another. That's all we got to know. Then it goes to self-expression. You, you got the knowledge that you know, you need to share it. 50 50, not all of it, not everything. 50 50. Because there's a story I heard, which is the galaxy and the Dead Sea. The galaxy and the Dead Sea both come from the same stream of water source. The one's dead and one's flowing, flowing with blessings, flowing with plants, with vegetation. And why is that? Because the Dead Sea does not have an outlet. The Dead Sea is closed off. The water is not able to go out. It's not able to run through. That's why it's called the Dead Sea. The Gallon Sea has a source, has an outlet. It can, the water can come in, the water can come out. And that's the reason why it's alive. Once you have that, that once you have the information that you know you have, you gotta share it. Why? Because if you don't share it, it's gonna stay inside you, it's gonna rot, and it's not gonna able to grow your crops, throw the seeds you need in order for you to Here, I have a brain fart it's food. Order for you to reap your rewards. Uh, another verse from the Bible talks about how this man throws seeds into the sidewalk, throws seeds into the vines, into the weeds, throws seeds into fertile soil, and the birds eat the seeds on the sidewalk. The 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 weeds don't let the seeds germinate. Though the one with fertile soil were thrown at grew monumentous amounts of vegetation. That's what you gotta share. You gotta share what you know because you never know what's gonna happen. You're, you're throwing your throwing your seed into the universe and you're you're planting you're planting and later on you're gonna reap your rewards. And then comes your intuition. Intuition is a very very important thing because during in your path you're gonna get a lot of envy, a lot of negativity. Why? Because that's humanism we the world we're not learning to understand how how we can accomplish any, everything we want and the reason we don't is because why negativity the first people to destroy your dreams are your parents friends and families the closest around you are the ones that are going to push you down and tell you no your dream is dumb your dream is stupid. You cannot accomplish that because this, that, and this. And the reason they're saying that is because they weren't able to accomplish their dreams and goals. And they were, and they don't want to, they either are scared for you to get hurt going out in the real world and setting out to pursue your goals. They're going to hurt. They're going to try to protect you from that because they're afraid. Fear, fear is the biggest demotivator of humans. Outwood and the devil. Uh, what the devil talks about how fear is the biggest tool he uses to keep us to keep 
keeps us from thinking. And thinking is horrible for him because when we think, when we become self-aware, oh shit, why am I working? Dude, like, dude, I can grow my fucking food. I can grow my own plants and vegetations. I can, I can get my animals. I can do that. I could even sell those crops. Though, no, you gotta get this, you gotta get that, you gotta go to school. This, and, and, and if you get that, this and that, you understand? You get stuck in the rat race. That's why you need your intuition. Your intuition talks about how, what your purpose here, what you really wanna do. And sometimes you need to hide that because if they understand how powerful you really are, People are going to try to take that away from you, and which is okay. It's going to be fine because it's karma. Karma. If you take something, the karma is going to take you right back. If you fuck karma, she'll fuck you right back. That is the reason you should always spread righteousness. You should always spread love and prosperity for those around you, even your enemies, which is really hard. That's the biggest test for you is in order for you to share love and prosperity to your enemies. And I... And uh, it's hard to say, don't stay much around and friends. This is the hard part. The 48 Laws of Power talks about don't give too much trust to your friends. Use your, uh, use your foes as a resource. Intuition is open. You know what you need to do. You feel that guidance of the universe, understanding what you need to do. You, and it's weird because it gets even deeper than that. So I'm not going to talk about that because most of you guys are, most of you individuals are not ready. Once you get into your crown chakra, that's when everything, consciousness goes into your body. And consciousness is one of the most scariest things if you're not ready. That's why you need to be grounded. And if you're not grounded, which is having faith, I believe that's just it. You need to have faith. Because when the universe was created, God did not understand what money was. He didn't. He didn't. He did have the idea that that was going to happen, but that was not his intention. His intention wasn't currency, because, as I said, you can grow your own foods. Though, we want a hamburger, we want a cheeseburger, we want a pizza. You can do all that, but just we don't want to. Why? Because it's hard. We gotta take time. We gotta have patience for that, and that's fucking. I agree with that. That's just hard. I ain't trying to wait a year to grow to reap my rewards. And guess what? At the end, time flies by. I noticed four or five years I wasted in, in looking for what I really wanted to do. And I noticed that what I really wanted to do was here alone. That, that's why. Oh, and then this is why I also looked in the 10X rule. 10X rule by Grant Cordone. Don't just focus on your root chakra. Focus, go up, go up higher to your higher chakras. Because if you fall down, boom, you, you learn the information from the higher chakras and you're able to bring it back down. Is as if you live in the United States, you move to Europe. Europe has a whole different way of life. And once you under, once you live through that, once you are exposed by it, you start noticing different things. Once you come from a different country and you come here, you see, wow, this is very different. India, they don't eat a lot. Of, they don't eat meat. They don't eat beef, pork. Why? Because they think it's dirty. Why? Because they think their family has reincarnated from that. A family member could be a cow. So that's my, this is my video. I'm going to stop right now because I'm, I'm going to keep talking, talking forever. The first, and this is a fucking long ass video. I already told myself. And... What was it, class? What was the chakras? First chakra is the root chakra survival. Second chakra is your solar plexus. No. <laughs> Second chakra is your pleasure, your sacral chakra. Third chakra is your solar plexus, your happiness, your ego. Fourth chakra, heart chakra, love. Fifth chakra, throat chakra, self-expression. And one thing I'm gonna add about throat chakra, and if that's if that's really unbalanced and unharmonized, you're gonna be sick a lot because the main place it stay, stays is the thyroids, the throat thyroids, and that usually affects for how you sick, how you get sick. Your intuition, your third eye, and it's funny because the your third eye, which is your intuition, 
And then lastly, your crown chakra, which is you talk to a divinity. You, it talks to you because you understand that you're here for a path. You're not doing evil. You're spreading righteousness because, and this is what I like. Uh, one thing that talks in the Bible, follow God's kingdom and everything you desire shall be acquired. And with that, I'm going to end it. Love you guys. Have a prosperous day. Meditate. Think about your life. Think about what you want. Focus on many things. Help world, love, and happiness. And get out of your comfort zone. Stretch. And have a marvelous and fantastic day. Jefferson out.